Hello everyone and welcome back. This is my Uncanny X-Men comic book collection. Uh, a lot of people love the Amazing Spider-Man collection videos, so hey, let's do the X-Men. And we got a couple more after this as well if you keep staying interested. This is X-Men number four. Uh, this is first Quicksilver, first Scarlet Witch, first Toad, first Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Uh, this is New Mutants Annual 2, first Psylocke. I threw her in here because she's an X-Men, right? God Loves, Man Kills, possibly one of the best graphic novels of all time by Chris Claremont. And I just realized that uh, there is damage to the bottom of this book, so now I'm devastated. It ruined my day. Uh, this is Giant Size X-Men number one. First appearance of the new team, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Storm. Uh, this is X-Men 94, the start of the all-new, all-different X-Men. This is X-Men number 50, uh, first appearance of Polaris. Well, second appearance of Polaris, um, first cover with the new X-Men logo. This is first appearance of Mutant X, Proteus. I don't know why I have this in a CGC 7.5, but there it is. Uncanny X-Men number 221, this is first appearance of Mr. Sinister in a newsstand. These are some of my raw books. This is uh, the new X-Men number 128 by Hale, Ethan Van Skyver. Uh, this is the first appearance of Phantom X. This is X-Men number 100. Uh, I think the old X-Men fight the new X-Men. X-Men 101, first appearance of Phoenix. All-time cover there. X-Men 141, this is the Days of Future Past, one of the best stories in comics ever. Miss Marvel number 18 is first appearance of Mystique. I threw her in here. She's an X-Men too, right? Uh, Uncanny X-Men 251, one of the hottest books on the planet right now. Uh, the crucifixion of Wolverine shown in the new Mar uh, Marvel hit movie, Deadpool vs. Wolverine. And this is my raw collection of Uncanny X-Men. And to be honest with you, Probably one of, if not the best part of my comic book collection is is this these books right here. So for the vast majority of these from like 95 to like 150 or so, I bought these all at one time and these were all from like a private collection, possibly a one owner collection. These are extremely high grade Um and, you know, I have wrestled with the idea of selling them, but I just, I can never get to that point of I'm wanting to sell these. Like, I, I, I just love these books so much. Um, Chris Claremont's Uncanny X-Men run is probably my favorite older comic book run. And I say older, meaning that, it, you know, from like the 70s. As far as like other stories and other runs from back then, there's really been nothing that has held my attention like this. A couple of these are signed by John Byrne internally um, on the splash page. This is the first appearance of uh, Weapon Alpha, and then we start getting into the, oh God, what's what's their names? Alpha Flight. Um, X-Men number 110. This is uh, this one's also signed by John Byrne. Uh, this is the arcade stuff. I love that Murder World arcade stuff. That was one of my favorite parts of the storyline, as well as the Mutant X, the Proteus part of the storyline. Then, of course, Days of Future Past. I mean, they're just, it's all good. Uh, the beginning of the run here is a little slow, uh, but man, and man, it picks up big time. Like Chris Claremont kind of finds his voice. They kind of find, you know, John Byrne's art is just incredible throughout, but they really kind of catch catch a stride there. This is the first uh, Alpha Flight. Great covers. I love this cover tr to The Trial of Colossus and then this Arcade's Murder World, two of my favorites. Uh, that was the first appearance of Colossus as like a Russian villain and this is first uh shadow cat uh kitty pride i need to get a better copy of this this is this book was not included in that lot that i bought as well as this one 
this uh, first Dazzler 130, you can tell like those books compared to these other ones, like these are so nice. Like this classic Wolverine cover. I mean, dude, like that, that cover is so clean. Um, this is the Uncanny X-Men 135. That's when they start, uh, like they, they start breaking the, um, X-Men logo. Always. I'm always a sucker for those books. Uh, this is 137. Uh, this is one issue number 140. And then 141, I already showed. Uh, it's on my wall. This is Everybody Dies, Days of Future Past. Yeah, and then I think at this point, this is where I started just piecing the... Uh, run together. Oh, God, I love this one, too. This is one of my favorite. Kitty Pride is probably one of my favorite. Shadow Cats, one of my favorite X-Men. Obviously, Wolverine's my favorite, but she's right there, too. So many awesome. This is a Cockrum cover. Uh, just the pencil work on these is just so good. There's when they all start turning into worms and that and they have to fight the, the transfer, transformed worms. Um, yeah, this is the wedding of um, Lady Mariko and Logan. I love the stuff where he went to J Japan in the, uh, the Frank Miller uh, miniseries. And even Wolverine's miniseries, or for solo series, I love that too. This is number 180, 181, 182. I haven't read this far in the story yet. Uh, this is the first appearance of Forge. I think I have a couple copies of it. One direct, one newsstand. I think the direct was higher grade. Um, this is first appearance of Nimrod. I think I have two copies of that. This is awesome. This is, I think this is Sylvestri. I'm not sure, but that that's like the art from like the New Mutants. Like the art in that New Mutants run is so good. I still need to read that story. I have the Omnibus volume number one. I love that cover right there, that storm cover. And then we got the Trial of Magneto and they're fighting who will lead the X-Men. This is an incredible Wolverine cover. Kind of very reminiscent of the Weapon X stuff. This is an awesome Wolverine cover too, where he's tearing through the page. And we got a Nimrod cover. Uh, this is a great cover there. This is another. This is Wolverine versus Sabretooth. Great cover. I love this one too. For obvious reasons. Juggernaut cover. I'd love to get first appearance of Juggernaut at some point. That cover right there always stuck out to me, 220. And then here's first Mr. Sinister in a direct. This is a much lower grade copy. I have a new stand in 9.4 I showed. Great Wolverine and Sabretooth cover there. A couple copies of it. Uh, this is a cool copy too. They're getting electrocuted. You see their skeletons. These are just these these covers are so good. They're so good. They're so much better than anything else in that time period, in my opinion. This is uh, the Sylvestri Uncanny X Men. It always reminds me of Baraka from uh, Mortal Kombat. One of my favorite Wolverine covers too. That's a cool one with Wolverine and Rogue. I love stories with. With them in it, like kind of teaming up. This is first cover of Mr. Sinister. Should have been his first appearance. Uh, this is the Goblin Queen. So cool. And this is first Jubilee. Uh, this is a newsstand. This is like a decent copy. I think I had another copy of this, but I sold it. Yeah, this, this run I've got pretty much complete till 300. Here's another of the crucifixion ones. This this copy's not as good as the direct, which is usually the case. 
Uh, that Psylocke cover always stands out to me too. It's really cool. This is the Jim Lee stuff. And then I have a signed uh, Jim Lee book. Yeah, so here is my signed Jim Lee book. I ac accidentally forgot about it on the wall. Just an awesome SIG placement, awesome color choice. Now, I did not have these signed. I bought these already signed, so I'm assuming they're real. Uh, sure looks pretty real. And it's just a weird book to get signed by Jim Lee if it's not, it wasn't real. Like, I, I just never really doubt signatures are real. Like, the only, like, Stan Lee signatures are possibly fake. Um, that's another great Jim Lee cover there. But like a fake Jim Lee signature, like who's getting that? Who's doing that? Especially on this book. I mean, it's an awesome, epic Wolverine cover. But like, who who's <laughs> who's making a fraudulent Jim Lee signature? Uh, this is Uncanny X Men two eighty two first Bishop. Um, and then this is. Uh, second appearance of Bishop. I don't know. Uh, sometimes I see that book as like a key book, and I'm like, there's like a million of them. Oh, this is a great cover. This Kiss cover with Storm, so good. And I love this one too. Storm was one of my favorites as a kid as well. Long haired Storm, of course, not Mohawk Storm. Uh, and then this 300 really kind of started it all for me. I remember buying this in Marietta, Ohio, and I was like, I'm going to start putting together the X-Men run, and here I am. I think this is like a reprint of X-Men 63. I don't know. I don't think that's like the real deal. Guys, this is my X-Men collection. Nothing really good here. Uh, just a fake collector showing us comic book collection. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.